Hey guys, Ashradev here, back with another Codename Engine tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make custom note types. In this video, I'm going to be covering two of the most common note types seen in mods, but if you need any help, don't hesitate to comment below. Also, I'm trying a new editing style, so let me know what you think of it and if I should do it more. So, let's get started. So first off, you will need a custom note sprite to obviously represent your note, so players know whether to hit or avoid it. To do this, simply put the note image and the associated XML in images, games, notes, types. If you don't have that, you can make that yourself. Uh, then we will need to change the note sprite in the script. To get started, I'll show you guys how to make a simple hit note. To do this, make a folder in data called notes. If you don't already have it, you can make it now. And make a new HX file called miss note or hurt note, whatever tickles your fancy. Once inside, you can start by specifying the amount of damage you want to deal uh, on hit, which you can see here on the screen. Ignore the FLX tween, it's for the drain, which we're going to cover next. Uh, next, you can change the note sprite by using e.notesprite equals the path of your note inside of on note creation. This is the function that's ran when all the notes are created at the start of the song. After this, we need to register the player hit. Uh, this can be done in on player hit, obviously, as seen on screen. What this does is if the player hits a note, it'll run our damage function. Similarly, we want the player to miss it on purpose, but not gain a miss from doing so. To do this, we can use on player miss and call e.cancel true, which stops the built-in event handling, such as adding the miss to your miss counter. Next, we have to manually delete the note, as since we cancelled the prior event handling, uh, it will not delete itself. Uh, you can do this by getting the note, the strum line associated with it, and then deleting said note, which you can see on screen now. Next, we have our damage function, which takes an int, which we already specified in our damage amount, since int and float work together. Uh, all we do is we set the player's health to their current health, minus the damage amount. And now, onto the drain note. To make a drain note, the process is basically the same, except you need to import the tween library at the top which can be done with import flixel.tweens.flx tween. Uh, next, just change all the if checks to check for the drain note instead of miss note. Now, where our main difference comes in is with how damage is handled. Using flxtween.num, we can smoothly tween the value of the health. The arguments are as follows. The start value, the end value, the duration, the ease, and the function tied to update if you want it to carry over outside of that specific hit. FLX Ease controls how the numbers itself tween. For example, the ease I have in the example quad out starts to tween fast but slows it down towards the end, which is ideally what you should use for any bar tweening such as health as it's a lot smoother to look at and acts like a normal health bar. Uh, here are the notes in action. Uh, I hit the drain note first and the normal note after so you can take a look at what that would look like in game. Three, two, one. But yeah, with that said, the code below will be in the description and uploaded to Funkin Scripto whenever I release that. Uh, more info on note types and how they work can also be found on the Codename Engine documentation, which is also linked below. But with that said, don't forget to suggest some more tutorials down below, and like and subscribe as I am trying to hit at least 1,500 subs by the end of the year, and I really think we can make it. But with that said, uh, the next video I'll make will be a devlog on my very cool horror game I'm making, so look out for that. With that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Astro Dev, out.